of his worlds and hopes and dreams and misery. The days are cool and then the boat out there and you will be the heroes from them all. How can I encourage that? How else do you give your students inspiration? Well, to be honest, it quite often involves telling them a wonderful story. Such as exactly what, for example? Well, one good example would have to be the small star of Lombard. The small star of Lombard? I remember that day. It was during a geography lesson in November. I was showing them the map of Italy. This is Italy, you must remember. Our country has fought for 50 years, sacrificing hundreds of thousands of lives. Among these heroes, there are many scarcely older than yourselves. Today, I'd like to tell you one of their stories. In June of 1859, the Allied army from Italy and France led a fight to liberate Lombard. One day, on a reconnaissance mission, a small team of Italian cavalry rode toward Lombard. Come on! What are you doing? I'm making a sturdy walking stick. Is there anyone in the village? Almost everyone has gone somewhere else because they're afraid of the war. Why are you still here then, son? Uh... The Austrians killed my parents, 
I'm alone. But how is it you've survived on your own? Well, I know my way around pretty well, so I'm able to get by. There's gonna be a battle here. I know, and I've already picked out the spot I'm going to watch it from. <laughs> Do you think your men would like some fresh milk? This roof is too low. It wasn't high enough? Then we'll have to go forward. Which will be quite dangerous. How good is your eyesight? Well, I've been known to spot a bird from two kilometers away. Hmm, impressive. And you can climb way up to the top of that tree? What, that one there? Yeah, before you can count to 10. Do you mind if I ask you to do something for all of us? Can you climb up and see if you can spot the Austrian army coming? Yes, of course. Thanks, boy. I'll be happy to reward you for your help. What? I don't need any kind of reward. But are you sure you need me to help you? Of course, you're right. This is the army's problem, not yours. They are one and the same, sir. I'm proud to be from Lombard. If it hurts the Austrians, well, then I'm all for it. I'd say our recon squad has a new scout. Yes, yes sir. sir. Here, why don't you take this? <laughs> hey, be careful! Spread out! Concentrate on looking in the Western Valley. Do you see any Austrians yet? Well, there are a couple of men riding on horseback. Well, would you say they're far from here? About a kilometer. Anything else? I can see what looks like bayonets in the cemetery. Can you see any soldiers? They're in the wheat field. <laughs> hey, that's enough. Come on down. I'm fine. I'll check the north. Uh, uh, hey! There are a lot of Austrian soldiers around the church. <gasps> oh. Oh. Huh?
This boy died in battle, serving his country. I want him to receive a soldier's burial. That reconnaissance squad's report triggered the campaign that liberated the entire region, all thanks to the little star of Lombard. I love my country too. Lombard star shines forever. Mm -hmm. Always remember this for Italy. I'm not exactly eloquent. Nonsense, that was beautiful. <clears throat> that is quite an impressive pen. This remarkable pen was painstakingly handmade by a father for his son, as thanks for his loving devotion. That sounds like another story. <laughs> <laughs> 